Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video to explain how to assemble uh, the yoke once it arrives. So as I'm sure anyone following the project knows, we've been having some issues with uh, units being damaged in transport. Um, so what we're doing now is we're shipping uh, the entire assembly with the handle detached. And this video is to quickly explain how to attach the unit. Uh, you should have most of the stuff that you're going to need uh, included in, uh, in the package. You will, however, have to find your own 7 16 inch wrench. So all you're going to need is a 7 16 inch wrench uh, and uh, the rest will be included. And I'll run through what we have in the package right now. So inside, uh, inside the package you're going to find a, uh, a Mylar bag and inside it you're going to have two Allen keys. We have a 5 30 seconds Allen key. We have a 1 6 Allen key. We have two quarter inch uh, grade 8 black steel uh, bolts as well as two matching nuts. We have a quarter inch uh, washer. We have a fender washer. We have uh, a mounting uh, crush plate uh, and seven uh, 440 um, uh, screws for the uh, face plate. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your 1 16th inch Allen key and you're gonna wanna remove the two retaining screws that you have on the front of the, uh, uh, the front face plate of the unit. Uh, and these screws are just meant to uh, keep all the electronics inside during, uh, during shipping. So I'll remove those now. So once those screws are removed, uh, you should be able to get into the, uh, the yoke assembly itself. I'm going to point out a few things that are inside. We have a, uh, a grounding strap here. This is important. We'll talk about that later. We also have on the, uh, on the internal circuit board, we have a little telephone jack connector. Uh, and then on the, uh, on the unit itself, you should see your RJ12 cable coming out of the, uh, the yoke assembly itself. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our two quarter inch bolts. We're gonna put the fender washer over one of them. And we're gonna place it into the top of the two mounting holes. So let me just orientate this correctly. We're gonna just place it in like that with the bolt coming through on the back. You're then gonna take your second quarter inch bolt and you're gonna take your quarter inch washer. You're going to feed the bolt first through the ground strap and secondly through the washer. And you're gonna then feed that through the hole inside the, uh, the yoke assembly itself. So you should have uh, the, the ground strap attached to the bottom bolt, um, and then we've got these two bolts shooting through on the back. Once you've got that done, you can take the crush plate, you can then strap that over the two bolts, like so. So you should have the handle, crush plate, and the two bolts. And once again, the top bolt should have the big fender washer. And the bottom bolt should have a quarter inch washer and the ground strap. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we orientate this correctly and push these two bolts through the front collar. So we've got them coming out the back. And we're just gonna put the nuts on the top and put the nuts on the bottom like that so it's still uh, loose because we haven't torqued them up but basically what you should have is you should have the nuts on the top and the bottom and then moving around to the front you should see the uh, the uh, bolt with the fender washer bolt with the quarter inch and the uh, and the ground strap and we should have our RJ12 jack coming through the front. Okay now I'm going to take my 5 30 seconds allen key and I'm going to use it to hold these steady as I take my wrench and I torque the back nut up. Okay so the nuts are nice and tight now 
This should be fairly rigid. You shouldn't be able to do any, any uh, crazy wiggling on it. At that point, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our RJ12 jack and we're going to plug it into the, uh, into the board. Now I should point out that the plug should be installed with its clip facing down or facing front relative to the board. So now it's attached. If you ever have to detach the board, what I su suggest you do is you find sort of sharp object, fairly pointy, and use it to pry underneath the clip to remove it. And once you've pried it, you can remove it. Once it's all attached, what you can do is you can push the, uh, the faceplate back on, and using your 1 16th inch Allen key, you can start putting the faceplate bolts back on. Now I also suggest that you don't tighten any of these up until you've got all of the bolts at least partially started. And there it is. Faceplate's done. The handle's rigidly attached, and she's ready for power-up.